Hey, what's up guys? I got snowed in today, as you can see. And uh, I was actually pleasantly surprised that the UPS driver came and dropped off a package for me. I actually got a new tripod that I'm gonna be using later on this year for traveling. Um, so let's check it out. Hey guys, so this is my new tripod by Prima Photo Gear. And this thing is pretty awesome. It's uh, under 13 inches. It's less than three pounds, and it has a load bearing weight of 8.8 .8 pounds. And it folds up to 50 inches when it's fully extended. So it's uh, pretty versatile, but yet small and lightweight. Great for traveling. Just so you have a comparison, I brought out my normal everyday tripod that I use by Oban. And uh, you could see it's half the size of my, you know, of my standard tripod. Um, obviously, if I take the head off this, um, you know, I'll reduce the size a little bit for traveling purposes. But still, uh, you're saving about six inches of space right there. Plus, this weighs probably around five to six pounds. Now, I just want to get into some of the things I like and don't like about this tripod. Well, let's open it up for you guys. Now, one thing I don't really like about this is the fixed column. Um, you have to be careful with camera shake when uh, it's a windy day. Uh, luckily, this does have a hook, so we can throw some weight on it, or if you want to use your camera bag, you can weigh it down. That'll help reduce camera shake. That's the first negative. The other negative about this is I'm not a big fan of twist locks. You know, over time they tend to wear out. Uh, these rubber things usually will start to come off. That's happened to me in the past with my my older Obin tripod. That's why I switched over to these these uh, these locks. But other than that, this thing is pretty awesome because this head will actually come off, and I could switch it out with um, a brand new head. Oops, like this. So I could throw a panoramic head on there. So that's a great feature. I could also use this for my time lapse video. And actually, I plan on using this mostly for my time-lapse videos since when I travel, I travel with two cameras. My D800, which I primarily shoot on the Oban, and then I travel with a lightweight tripod to do time-lapse. And this will hold my Syrup Genie without a problem. And I can stick my camera up here. You know, if I need more stability, I can just widen the legs. So, uh, I can't wait to use this thing in the field. Now in the past, in the past I used uh, this silk tripod right here, which weighs a little bit less than this guy. The only problem with this is the ball head is terrible. You have a quick release plate that is really flimsy and cheap, and you could not you could not replace this ball head unless you find like an adapter of some sorts because the threads on this are a lot smaller than the threads on this as we can see here so you know i i use this in iceland um i did some time lapse footage with it but uh it's already starting to break a little bit and i'm really not a big fan of the ball head this this needs to go I do like that they have this type of locking mechanism, but unfortunately, everything that's, you know, all the competitors with this, like um, Mi Photo and Dolika, they are pretty much all the same with the twist locks. Um, this comes in around $85 on Amazon. Dolika is around $80. Um, 
and I think the Mi Photo is around 150 so it got decent reviews and I decided to give it a try I think I'm also going to use it in the future with a second one so I could do more time-lapse video with my slider in the past I used this big enduro tripod and this thing's huge now try backpacking with this a uh, big slider that's five foot that's my little one and you know this and a second one actually I, I would have two of these um, it's just so much weight it's so big and bulky and I'm confident that I could actually use this with the sliders let's put it together and we'll see Alright guys, so as you see, I just threw this together really quick just to kind of show you an example of something that you could do with uh, these little travel tripods. I plan on getting probably a second one, and that way I could take my 5 foot slide and uh, put it at different heights and different angles similar to what you see here. So when I do a time lapse video, it will you know, start low and then go high or have it go perfectly across. It all depends on the scene. but it's good to know that I can reduce so much size and weight to my backpack when I'm hiking up a mountain because lugging around something this big, you know, two of them, um, it, it's just, it's backbreaking, grueling work. So I'm really excited to try this out and hopefully it holds up. If it starts to fall apart, I'll make a follow up video. It also comes with some Allen keys and you can actually unscrew the bottom of the feet and changes to little spikes right like this so that's pretty cool and it does have a carrying case as well alright guys so this is the Prima Photo travel tripod can't wait to use it this summer and uh, save my back from extra weight and if you guys are interested in it I'll post a link in the description below and I'll also post the links to the competitors and similar products like this one that way you could kind of you know pick and choose what you like better and uh, hopefully this will help you guys too if you decide to travel and you need something very lightweight but could hold the weight of your camera so thank you for listening and I will see you guys later